So yeah, I got three more to go. So I'm on a roll. It was actually six of them here. So I've been doing them uh, each day. I want it, I go and get it, yeah, with no hesitation, yeah Never on time for the party, I'm always on time for the paper, yeah Told you I'd be there by nine Good morning, y'all, welcome back, welcome back Hey! To my channel, if you're new, welcome, if you're not new, welcome back So this morning, guys, I am going to be completing the lessons that I thought I completed Okay, guys, so I did tell you that I was waiting to get my finals completed and everything what finals y'all what do you mean by that i thought i was completely done when i have three more lessons to go three more modules to go god damn it so what happened was when you get close to the end that's when things get challenging okay so um because the way it was set up i automatically thought that i was done right and then I'm just like, okay, so why haven't they not graded that portion for me? You know, because as I go along and complete each module, the next day you get a grade, right? And you see what your grade is. But this time it didn't happen with these um, lessons that I've been doing. I was like, this is strange. So then I left it alone. And then they sent me an email saying that... Um, in order to have those lessons unlocked, I would have to um, set up a meeting with the instructor. I'm like, why would I have to set up a meeting with an instructor? First of all, my GPA is not low. Um, I've been completing my modules. So what's really good? What's really going on? I said, all I need y'all to do is just unlock my lessons. That's what I sent them as a message. But... They insisted that I meet up with an instructor. And then when I finally did that, she walked me through the steps on what needed to be completed and how to complete these three last lessons. So that's where we are right now. I've been doing great so far. I have like uh, five more to go for um, chapter eight. And is it chapter? Yeah, it's chapter eight. Guys, I'm just over it. <laughs> but I've been staying on top of it. I'm proud of myself. So that's what we're going to be doing in the AM. Right now it's 9.06. I'm listening to the word. I'm listening to Kim, to Miss Kim. So I honestly feel like she's the reason why I started to go back to doing my lessons again. Because if it wasn't for her, I don't think that I would even honestly think about going back doing this. And you know, like, how the devil works, y'all. If you know, then you know. Because you know, we're all human, right? I'm trying to, okay. So if you know, then you know. We're all human. You know how, like, you know, when you start off good, you're doing great. Then all of a sudden, you just don't have that urge, that motivation anymore to want to complete it. That's what happened to me, you know, after I realized, okay, I'm done. And then I get an email saying that I'm not done. Then that's when I was like, man, bump this crap. This is a... Uh... Ain't nobody got time for that. What the heck? This is like a joke. I'm not trying to get my bachelor's. I just want to get a certificate and be done with this so I can go or whatever they're going to give me, a certificate or a diploma and just start working already. You know what I'm saying? And it's been like that for a while where I wasn't so motivated to complete the lesson. So Sunday, I was watching Miss Kim and I usually watch her every Sundays. And you know, like every week, like when she does her little devotionals or whatever, her motivation speaking thing that she does every morning, I watch them too. 
But it was just that Sunday, which was last week, that really pushed me and motivated me. When she says, and this is her favorite quote, this is what she always says, get up. Or she says, I'm back. And when she said that, she said, guys, repeat after me, say I'm back. And when she said, guys, repeat after me uh, and say I'm back, I repeated after her and I felt it. And when I said it, I said it with all my might. And my kids were looking at me like, Mama, are you okay? <laughs> like they did not, they never seen that side of me. I'm just like, don't worry about mommy. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm just feeling the word right now. I'm just feeling it right now. So, um, yeah. So when she said that, I was just like, you know what? Let me get back to the doing this. Cause if I don't do it, nobody will. And as I got back to doing it, you know what I'm saying? At that point, I was just like, you know what? This is easy. This is easy. How come I didn't do this way before? How come this wasn't? And I only have 87% completion, program completion to go, guys. Like, I'm really, I'm really doing this to myself. Like, seriously. So... We gonna get to it right now, and this time there won't be any um, any complaints. At a certain point in time, sometimes I just get tired, which is normal. My eyes get tired, and I'm just like, I can't do this no more. I cannot. I don't want to. This is way too much for me. And I take breaks. And once I take breaks, I don't revisit this until the next day. And I don't want that to be that. Because the way th these are set up is they're like different modules and they have you do, do these different simulations and you have to uh, follow the directions that they give you in order to complete the simulation. I guess this is something to see like if you're, if you pay attention very well. So... And I love these because I'm so used to them. If you've worked for a, a rise, then you know what I'm talking about because they, they have a lot of those simulation um, self paces where they show you the video first and in the second half of it, then they give you an opportunity to follow that video. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what this is all about. So that's what I'm going to be doing the remaining of the time. Listening to Miss Kim and getting this done and you guys are going to do it with me okay 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 <laughs> and y'all already know i got my dunkin donut coffee on deck and before i start guys let me tell you the last time i went to visit dunkin donuts i told y'all how i had like 855 points they took the whole 600 uh points excuse me the whole 600 points away from me. I was about to say the whole $600. What? They better not, because we was going to fight. Yeah. Anyways. And um, she said that all oh, the, uh, what you ordered is not included in the, uh, in the points. So I said, okay, cool. I wasn't even going to argue about that. She said, don't worry about your points will um, appear within 24 hours. I pulled up my app this morning and realized that the points never went back on my account, right? So then she's like, um, so the same woman that told me that, she happened to hand me my coffee this morning. So I told her, I said, look, you know the points never hit my account. And she was like, no way, oh my gosh, you should have called them and told them that, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, it's no big deal. It's really my fault. It's all right. It's not a big deal. It's just points, you know what I'm saying? Because... I just wanted her to let her know that just in case if that were to happen to any of the uh, customers, that, you know, that customer is not so rowdy and upset because some people, they take their points seriously. You know what I'm saying? And I see why they would, but I'm just saying. So I just told her, don't worry about it. Eventually it will accumulate. And, and that was it. I just wanted my coffee to go, but I just wanted to let her know as well. So let's get a crunk up phone up phone up phone up.
Strength and speed. Mm. Oh, my second one. So yeah, I got three more to go. So I'm on a roll. It was actually six of them here. So I've been doing them um, each day. So as you can see, the, the numbers on here is saying that's how long it will take for me to complete each of them, guys. Not true because I've been rushing, like going through them so fast. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm on a roll and I'm loving how this feels right now. Guys, I am like, oh, almost there. I'm on the last one. I got distracted, so now I'm going to see because it says that I might be taking like 30 minutes to complete this. And to be honest with you, I've just been taking like 10 minutes to breeze through all of them. <laughs> thank God for that, right? And thank God for this Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which is, it's been done since when? Like 30 minutes after I purchased it. <laughs> So, so far, so good, guys. Um, The reason why it's taking me longer, because I was checking my emails, and y'all know how that goes. Once you get something good sent to your email, then it's just like, okay, let's pause for a minute, and let's just get this done. So, um, let me see. So, medical records release, medical records release. Let's try. It's just like just following directions. If you can't read, then uh, you're, you know what I'm saying? But if you're good with reading, then just follow directions and you'll do great. Click the patient search button to perform a patient search, assign the form to. Okay. So guys, I'm doing great with my job. Um, I don't know if you've watched my last, my couple of vlogs where I told you guys I got promoted and I'm still looking, not that I'm leaving this one, not at all. I just would want more, you know what I'm saying? I'm always weighing out my options. If you don't know, your girl is always weighing out her options. So 
So like I said, um, so there were a couple of jobs that caught my eyes because I can't do the salary pay, guys. I can't get paid. I can't do the monthly. I cannot. That thing is killing me, especially for someone that's so used to weekly and biweekly. That shit is hard. So but when I get my monthly checks, you better believe it. That thing is lovely. I love it, okay? And the other boss type in our boss notes. And I can skip it real quick. I don't know if I should type in this whole thing. This should have been in parentheses. But I'll just do what they say. Now, all I'm doing is just following what? The directions. So right now I am completing a medical office form. It says the medical rec uh, records release form and post payment to ledger. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Document, cleaning, living, inpatient service, and the main care team, designate vital information. See, this one has parentheses. Why the other one didn't? But the great thing about it is that you can copy and paste, which is great, because that's what I'm doing. Document the address in the address pad. Wait a minute, let me redo this because it looked like I did it. Okay. I did do it more than one time because that thing was in the way. So document the phone number, which is one, two, three, eight, nine, seven. I wonder if they have like a machine that tells them if we if we uh got any of them wrong that's what i'm wondering because there's no way that they going through all this i mean they probably paying people to check them good for them but i doubt it if that's what they're doing so let's add patient requests and for patient health care for the purpose of their disclosure patient requests Okay, what was the other one? Select a patient request and for patient health care. Okay. Now enter 90 days for work authorization. Shall expire on the year of letter. Or a plan. Okay, now click the save to confirm the date. Okay. All right. All right, we're 
we're getting there guys we're almost done i want to make me a fat style i'm so hungry click on find patient icon i'm just scrolling down oh there's more to it oh my gosh click on patient icon okay let's get to it and stop complaining and who am i looking for on there using the patient okay search for done finito omg i am done i was so hungry <laughs> i had to make me a salad a mean one okay and it was fast and easy and it's hitting the spot so far so that's a good thing oh my gosh Started at 9.06 and I ended like around 12.30. What time is it now? Yeah. You could basically say 12.30. Oh, oh my God. So much, so much, man. But I'm so glad that's where my main focus is. And I want to thank God for sending his angels sending his angels over to me to knock some sense into me to be like girl you got this he sent miss kim pastor kim to me to open up my eyes and be like girl it's not that serious let's just get it done okay i really want to go in and visit her there was one time i was actually planning to go visit her she was scheduled to go um preach at a church in tampa and when i looked it up y'all it was in a hood nothing against the hood or anything like that but if i'm not familiar with that hood i would not go and you have to lis listen to your conscience and guess what that um trip for her was canceled okay so I'm like, that is God. God just be speaking through me. And I've just been listening. Okay? i just been listening. Just when you think he's not talking to you, different signs tell you. And your conscience is God telling you, speaking through you. You just got to be willing, you know, to listen. Um, oh, If it takes me to go visit her at her home church, I will do that. I will. I need to thank her for impacting my life through the screens, y'all. Through the screens. Who would have ever thought? Not even through being in her presence. Through the screens. My God. <laughs> This is so good. I guess because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm heading out to go pick up the kids. Once I get in the car, we'll talk more. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Anyways. All right, guys. So I'm finally done with lesson eight. Woo! Hooray! You did it, girl. So now I got two more to go. But the problem is that I have to reach out to an instructor to give me access. So I had to set up an appointment to do so. And my appointment is set up for tomorrow at 10.50. So yeah, and hopefully the test that I took twice and I failed twice is the same questions because I was able to get the correct answers. So that's another good thing about that. And um, I was reading, I wasn't reading, I was on TikTok and I was getting some motivational videos of medical billing and coding. And boy, am I super de duper motivated. Sis, sis Barbara, listen, we gotta finish this. We gotta finish school, honey. We 
we gotta finish the course because there's money to be made when i tell you there's money to be made like you could work for more than one company i am following this chick on tiktok she is a boss she lives in orlando not too far from me and she is working for more than one company okay and that is just so boss to me oh my gosh that is like beautiful and amazing you know what i'm saying so we got to get this going we got to get it going sister barb and sis Sherelle, i haven't heard from you um send me a dm what's good with you i need to hear from you kimberly what's going on john ian my family the reason why i know their names by heart guys because they've been like commenting on every video so that's why i like kind of memorize their names <laughs> But if you comment, I'll memorize yours too. And if I forgot your name, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. This is just popping out of memory. Oh my gosh, I'm like super motivated at this time. But my thing is, I'm, I need to know what study, study guides do I need to use in order to, um, to study so I can go ahead and, and take the, what is it, state board? So I could be certified guys I am um, taking a different route with um, little Alex maybe he'll be more motivated this way I decided to like every time I pick him up from school is do a little bit of time spend a little time with him at the library and we have a library super close to us guys we have not utilized the library ever like we drive by it all the time and we don't utilize it and I just checked the hours of operation for them and they are closed at 8 p.m. tonight since i'm off i'm gonna take advantage of that and i know he's gonna love it that'll motivate him to want to do homework more and that he will remain focused but yeah guys it's extremely hot today i think it's like 85 degrees today in florida it's southwest florida it's all good. It all comes with the territory. But yeah, guys. So that's what's been like going on today on my off day. I feel good about being able to focus on completing. Okay, so guys, this is what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Remember the job thing I was telling y'all about? So um, there's one that actually pays for your certification to become an insurance um, agent, right? So you'll be a, an insurance agent, but you have to work with them. So if they pay for the, uh, what is it, the license for you and you pass, you have to work with them for like at least a year. That's the contract that they give you to work for them at least a year. And then after that, if you wanna leave their company, you can. But if you want to stay with them, you can do that too. And it's with Progressive. Y'all already know how Progressive is. I'm not sure if I really want to do a Progressive. And I'm not even sure if I want to do this. The reason why I find it so interesting is because they're actually paying for it. It's like an actual... Um, it's actually like an actual school. And I don't even know how I... Um, got this company to reach out to me yeah like i don't even remember filling out an application with this company but they found your girl and they reached out to me but they are only paying 17 dollars an hour and that's not fair and the other job that i found is just a regular customer service job and it's paying 20 dollars an hour so, and that one starts in June. And the one that I am telling you about, the insurance agent one starts next week, Monday. And I went through the whole process with the background check and all of that. They didn't even ask for a drug test, y'all. <laughs> Not that I'm taking any drugs, illegal drugs or anything, but I'm just saying like, 
you know what I'm saying? That is like, wait, wait a minute. But yeah, I'ma just do that job that I start with Monday and just weigh it out until the other job that reached out to me this just this morning, y'all. You see how God is good? God is so good. Just this morning, this other job hit me up and I filled out the application just this morning when I received the notification. And believe it or not, guys, this job hit me up. Oh my gosh, my phone's been calling random numbers that's on my phone that I do not speak to, like, speak to anymore. They're like calling like the software that the the previous update on on iPhones, guys. The previous update on iPhones is doing this shit. I don't know how to report it. What do I do, guys? Please tell me because it's contacting people, calling them late at night and calling people I don't even speak to anymore and I don't even know and that's what I freaking get because I don't even know why I have these people number on my phone if I don't talk to them anymore. Like if they're, I mean, they are irrelevant in my life. You know what I'm saying? And the majority of the people that I don't want to talk to, that's what it's calling. And the reason why I know this is because it's, it, it's done that to my father. It's done that to my father and one of my cousins. And she called me and she was like, you called me? I was like, oh my gosh, my phone is doing it again. I said, no, it wasn't me. And then she's like, oh, it wasn't you? Okay. I said, well, I downloaded this... Um, you know the software you know with the app iphone when it tells you to upgrade your software that's what i did and ever since then it's been calling people she's like oh okay that's no problem i just see that you called and that's no problem at all and my dad said the same thing that i the phone called to him like late night so i'm just like oh my gosh i don't know what's happening but this is ridiculous I downloaded it on one of my phones, but I'm scared to do it on the other phone because it might do that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, hopefully I remember to do this when I get home, is start um, deleting the numbers that I don't need on my phone. Then I, I don't have to worry too much about it doing that. But yeah, that's freaking annoying. Fucking iPhones are like, Get it together, shit. Fuck, that's so fucking annoying. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm like in between, like which one should I select y'all? Cause this one that I do, I don't talk to anybody. And I already told y'all, unless if I want to, if, I, if an agent calls and you know, it's all up to me if I want to assist them or not. But other than that, I'm just doing emails. But I want a second job, just, you know, you know how it is. You know how your girl gets down. What? Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. So, I'm picking up the kids, guys, just in case if you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about. But, yeah, we're going to go to the library. I'm so excited to do this. I am. Because he's like not doing good with reading, y'all. Language arts, his grade is like, oh my gosh, so low. The only subjects he's doing great with is history and social studies. Is that what, what it showed? Was that physical? I don't know. Yeah, it was history. History and social studies. Isn't social studies history, guys? Oh my gosh. I know it's 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 one of those. Like he's doing good with those. No, he's doing good with excuse me, he's doing good with science and social studies. Yes. And he's failing in language arts and math. Yeah. So I looked into getting him a tutor, but them mother lovers are expensive. Oh, it's so expensive for my blood. Explains why I'm trying to get another job. Like at least a bi-weekly one. Expensive for way, way expensive for my blood. I don't want him to repeat the first grade. Oh, that would be horrible. And his teacher, she does she is just like by the book. 
she is by the book and I don't like the way she is because she pretends that she gives a fuck when she really doesn't when I sent her emails like the last meeting we had she said that she would put him in the front and supposedly she moved him but I never asked why because I'm not trying to have her um I'm not trying to show like teach her how to conduct her class and I'm not trying to be that messy ass parent neither but I just want to show her that I am that parent that do gives a damn about my kid and his grades you know and I talk to Alex all the time you know it's really challenging especially with little boys to make them understand how important it is to learn how to do certain things and the most important thing he should know how to do is read read is paramount even though he doesn't he's not doing so well with math but at least with math it's easy to grasp you get what i'm saying because math has like those um solving questions and that requires you to read so if he could get the reading down pat then I would be thankful. And not that he doesn't know how to read at all, guys. I'm not saying he doesn't know how to read at all, but he's more like a beginner. You get what I'm saying? Certain words he recognized and he would be like, oh, I know this word. And he'll say it. But there's some words that he should know already because he's in the first grade and he doesn't know them. So it's like, ugh. So I'm trying to make it a fun learning thing for him to where we go to the library because we have a lot of books at home but you know at home is so boring so the library would just be great for all of us <sighs> so so CVS was hiring guys and I did not post it on my blog because I knew I knew that application was going to fill up so fast and guess what I was right not even within, I don't even think the application stayed on the site for at least a good five hours. I don't even think it lasted that long. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> I promise you, I'm just like, wow. They filled up that fast? Okay. But yeah, guys. Hello, thank you. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Be quiet. I was trying to get a call. You uh -oh. tell me. Oh, my gosh. How are you guys doing? She's taking Walden well to, to sit down. Uh -oh. she, she comes in the car. She always takes forever. We're at the library, y'all. Say hi, thank you. Oh my gosh, your shirt is so pretty and mangled. I love it. <laughs> thank yeah. you. This is our first time here, so we could just what? sit. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Hello. Here. Let me give you one of these for this. sure. Okay. Um, a lot of events are already over. So, okay. um, but there's special presents on it. If you flip it over, you mm -hmm. get some grown up programs, which okay. is super awesome. Yes, that is. And let's see, how old are you guys? How old are you, really? Uh huh. Four. Okay. Instead of all of them, come over here because we need to help with something. We've got this awesome rain cloud and we have some raindrops. And I would love it if you guys could help us put some raindrops on our rain cloud. Awesome. So I'm going to put some little sticky stuff on there. I want to just make sure the sticky stuff goes on the wall. There you go. And you also get one. Go get it. Here you go. So where does it go? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Can I put it right here and see where the cloud is? So you can put your tears, the, the drop, the raindrops. <laughs> I said the tears, the raindrops. She's in tears of joy. Look at that little happy cloud. <laughs> nice job. Good job. It seems so good. Thank you. And that's not all that we have that you guys can participate in the library. At least okay. for the kids. Okay. This is the right. Okay. You're right. <laughs> so we've got these jokes, but as you can see, they're missing something. Okay. They're missing the punchline. And these little guys are here to help you find it. So all around the library, we've got these little guys hidden. If you find them, write down the letter they're associated with, and then it'll spell out a joke. Cool. Yep. And I've got four different jokes here. 
and these are all the people that we have hiding around. Come over here. Straight. Cool, right? So guys, it's been a while now. As you can see, um, right now it's midnight. So it's basically the next day. And the reason why I couldn't record because my phone um, died. So basically it went well in the library. It was fun for all of us. You know, the kids enjoyed it and you guys already know that's all that matters. At this point, now they are sleeping and I'm in the middle of checking my emails, trying to get homework completed. Y'all, I'm watching these TikTok videos that are very inspiring and motivating about, you know, medical billing and coding. Because, you know, with medical billing and coding, there are different certifications that you can complete in order to get jobs. And I realized the highest pace one so far is the CCS. I think that means certified coding something system or something like that so i'm very excited about you know getting to know more about it and um yeah and tiktok shops again done took my money actually they did not take my money i actually was purchasing a couple of things man i wish i was on tiktok sooner than later i just let the hype get to my head not even the hype the negativity because it was so many negativities going around about TikTok this, TikTok that. And I should have tried it myself to see if that's what it was. And to me, it really isn't. If you are driven and not, if you're driven and you know what you're on there for, then it will work for you. But if you're lost and you're just there for entertainment and you let any little thing influence you, I'm sorry, TikTok is not for you. Um... So yeah, um, I just noted a couple of things here and I got the library that I went to the newsletter. And as I was reading it in the library, I realized that they had the online Spanish conversation club, but um, I noticed it kind of late because they had it, it started on April 11th and they said registration already started. So I don't think I'm able to get on it anymore. Um, so hopefully they have another one and this is an online program where basically you're speaking to like real life spanish speakers where you can learn to speak spanish that way and i also got family news too and if you know about family news um then you know if you don't know about it it updates you about different events that's going on in your city and your location and uh, since April since you know uh, school is closing soon is ending soon you know they have a lot of uh, fun events for the kids so I will look into this and try to save some money I'm not trying to spend no money on anything the only thing I will be investing in is a tutor for my son and he will be doing tutoring while school is out I'm not playing because I need him to get like advance when he gets to the second grade you know because he's not advanced now but yeah guys i'll talk to y'all later it's already 12 39 i just want to get a couple of things done yeah and i'll see you in like a couple of hours bye day two 
Yes, uh, may I have the, let's see. What was that? Uh, just one moment, let me see what sandwich I would want to purchase. Smoked bacon, cheddar, and egg. Breakfast sandwich. Uh, can I have the impossible breakfast sandwich? The impossible breakfast sandwich, did you say? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, anything else? That'll be it. That's it? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be 1278. We'll see you at 20. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Master. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Home centric and bells. So the mirror fits perfect. Real quick, y'all, I wanted to show y'all the small that I got, which was only $19.99, y'all. So cute. Whoever Ellen Tracy is, this is so cute. And thank you for making your watches affordable. So pretty. And then I also got these for only $9.99, y'all. I'm not going to wear the earrings, but Lily could wear the earrings and I'll wear the necklace. So cute. I couldn't let it go. I got the mirror up, but I'm just so like scared because this mirror is so heavy, right? And it's hanging on a wall. I did purchase those nails that I showed you the uh, last time. And I don't know. Like, these walls are not, like... I guess at one point on the side of this wall, they had to add, like, wall... Um, What's that thing called? Sheet walls or whatever. So, it's not, like, concrete. So, I'm just praying to God that it lasts as long as it can. One eternity later. So y'all are currently at the library. We made it. <laughs> and he's just doing his homework now. So that's what we're going over. And little mama is at the computer. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. This is how you make a five. Yeah.
different. Good job. Here. Exp. Explain. Mm -mm. Sp. Especially. 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 Ex especially. Good job. The food mm -hmm. in South mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. I take eight. no eight a lot of uh, ricks uh, rice rice soup soup and crunchy kimchi 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 I said kimchi kimchi I I sight or sell still still do but now I always mm -mm. you know also mm -hmm. eat new mm -hmm. york york new york uh -huh. new york pizza style style pizza okay <laughs> what's the other country Mexico. Good job. My name is Maria. 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 All right, guys, so we are back from the library, obviously, as you can see the background. And um, I had a little bit of coffee because I stopped by Dunkin' Donuts and grabbed some stuff for the kids, like two glazed donuts before we went to the library, just so they could put a little something. And Gatorade, and I grabbed me a Cafe Con Leche, like a medium one. So now I'm lit. Okay. I do have my dinner here, but that is something I would eat later. But I wanted to show you guys that I got these books since last year. So I don't even know if it will affect me from doing getting my answers right for the um, for lesson. 10, so I'm gonna give it my best shot. But they did, um, I took less than 10 already. They give you three attempts. So they gave me the answers on what to look for. So I know exactly where to look for the answers. So yeah, so I'll be using these books to give me the answers. So this is the current procedure coding expert, the CPT code one for with Medicare Essentials for enhanced accuracy. And this one is the ICD-10 CM expert for physicians. And this one is the HCPCS level two one. So, yeah guys, so this is it. This is what it looks like. They're really tiny and annoying looking, but I'm gonna have to give them my best shot. So I'm more productive at night. So you might be seeing me get active at nighttime. So lay around for I'm just gonna go ahead and eat my snack because we have a big ass fly in here. Not sure how it got in here. Most likely it got in here when we opened the door to get in. The kids are having dinner, so yeah. I have to take Lily a shower. Alex done took a shower already. So we're getting there, and it's like what 6:01. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I just got off a of zone and I'm just like so tired. I can't even focus on what I want to focus on. I didn't even start on homework. Here we go again. I'm telling you the devil be working, man. And I'm sitting here watching Miss Kim. I can't even focus on the word this morning. Guys, it's like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, 
I'm not going to lie. My Zoom went very well. I'm just not energized. That's basically what it is. I have no energy at all. All I want to do is sleep. And I'm doing this to myself because I'm going to bed so late. But I'm so happy. Like, when I tell y'all about TikTok, TikTok is the breadwinner, okay? TikTok is the lick. The lick. If you're from 305 Dade County, Miami, then you know what I mean. And if you're not, basically, it's where you can get um, the hookup on certain things, on whatever you're looking for. So... You can either get assistance with or get what you're asking for. Like with my situation, you guys already know I like posting jobs or whatever. Someone reached out to me to, to be their virtual assistant. Just by me posting these jobs on my TikTok account. If that's not big, I don't know what is. Okay. I have coffee, guys, and it's still not working, but it's not strong. It's not like um I sprinkled a little of the uh cuz this is the instant coffee, but this one is the Folgers um cafe the Folgers vanilla flavor. It's more like cappuccino and I added the um instant uh Cafe Bustelo in there, but I like sprinkled a little bit and I poured hot water in there, but it's still not doing the work, guys. And I think because I went to sleep late last night, guys, y'all should have seen me. I was a hot mess this morning with the kids. They were almost late for school and I didn't even get to brush Alex's hair. Alex's hair is getting long, guys. And I'm not even trying to get him a haircut because school ends around when? We're in April, I think around May something. I'm not sure, but I don't know. It's up to his father. If his father takes him to go get a haircut, then cool. I just don't like to be amongst a lot of men. You know what I'm saying? When I take him to the barber shop. So that's where I'm at. And I just want to go lay down. I think that's what I'm going to do. Cause if I don't lay down, I'm gonna be this cranky woman. And today we gotta go to the library again. Supposedly the pl plumber is supposed to be here within two to 6 p.m. today. And like I told y'all before, I'm not going to be a convenience for these people cause they always with the bullshit. They always say they are about to show up and they don't. So most likely if they don't show up, they are not getting their rent. And that, I know that's the only way that I can get their attention is if I don't pay the rent. They text me yesterday apologizing, which is not going to fix the issue. Like, send these people here already to fix this issue. This is ridiculous. Saying, oh, we apologize. So sorry for the mix up. And uh, we will be seeing someone out there um, tomorrow. And please be home so they can check the issue. What are you checking? I already told you what it is. Just have them fix it already. But I'm exhausted mentally, physically. I just need a different scenery. I start the new job um, Monday. And they sent a survey out asking if there would be any inconvenience on my end when it comes to training. I said the only inconvenience will be is me picking up my kids for school. Yeah, that would be an inconvenience. But hopefully if they can let us go to lunch around that time, then that would work for me. At least give us an hour lunch. Because usually when I go and pick up the kids, it does take me like 30 minutes to come back home, depending on how long that line is, you know, so. Just exhausted. I just need another half of me, you know. 
I think I'm going to go and find me a man at church. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm going to go find me a man at church. And I'm going to tell you how that turned out. Okay? I'm going to tell y'all how it turned out. Because I need a man of God. Someone that believes in God. Okay? I'm talking too much. Let me go get some sleep. I'll see y'all. Culver's. We got a Culver's next to us. Close to our home, finally. Got through picking up the kids, guys. And we're just grabbing a bite to eat before we go to the library. And that nap was... Hold on. Lou, L-U. L-U. Uh-huh. So can I have the uh, Culver's Deluxe, please? The Culver's Deluxe? Do I make it on that? No. Okay, what else on it? Um, basically, uh, just the uh, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, and cheese. So no mayo, no pickle? Uh, mayo, but no pickle. No pickle. Is that going to be a meal today? Yes. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Do you guys have a kids meal? Yes, you guys do. Um, just yeah. bear with me. What kind of drink for the first one? Uh, a Dr. Pepper. Okay. One for that Um. I'm just checking it out really fast. Okay, so can I have uh, one corn dog? meal and the other one is going to be a a single butter burger cheese okay hello um you want your uh kids meal uh corn dog and then you want the with fries and coke to drink yes all right fries and coke okay and the second kids meal is going to be a single butter uh, burger all right Yes, with no pickles, please. Alright, butter burger, butter burger with cheese and... And, um... Uh, on your bam, on your butter burger, what kind of toppings do you just want? Plain? Yeah, just plain, just with cheese. Alright, you want that with fries and coke and cream? Yes. Okay. And, uh, oh no, for the kids' drinks, no coke, no soda, just, um... What uh apple juice? I want to apple juice, yeah. Uh, apple juice and both? Yes. Right. So y'all we're at the library already. We're just sitting in the back because Alex got through doing homework and we're just chilling. We're about to I'm giving them some time to burn the energy that they got before we go home. And guys, I didn't even start on doing homework. It was just so much last night. Really wasn't nothing. It was the devil working again. Basically, the devil telling me, girl, you are not going to concentrate. You are not. I'm going to make sure that I make you lazy so I don't allow you to do anything. So that's what happened last night. So remember when I was telling y'all about the job that is more like a university where they'll be paying me to learn? They just sent me an email. Oh shit. Lily, you okay? Come here. Uh, it's all right, okay. Now we gotta go home, okay. We gotta go home. It's all right, it's all right. I'll talk to you when I get in the car.